Good morning. Today we will discuss states of matter. Chemistry is about what matter is like and how it behaves, and our explanations and predictions of its behavior. What is matter? Matter, this word is used to cover all the substances and materials from which the physical universe is composed. There are many millions of different substances known and all of them can be categorized as solids, liquids or gases. These are the three states of matter. States of matter are the different forms in which matter can exist. The three states of matter are solids, liquids and gases. states of matter and its comparison solids liquids and gases shape solids have definite shape liquids they do not have definite shape but they always takes the shape of the container same like gases also they do not have definite shape they takes the shape of the container solids and liquids they have definite volume gases no fixed volume in the case of solids the particles are tightly packed in liquids they are close together but they can move but in the cases of gases the particles can move further apart that means the particles are far apart in the case of solids the particles vibrate in a fixed motion that means there will be a to and fro vibrating motions exist but in the case of liquids they are able to flow they their particles are sliding is each other but in the case of gases they move in a random manner that means there is a free movement possible states of matter solids liquids and gas they can be convert one form to another that is called the interconversion of matter that is changes of state solid changes to liquid through the process melting liquid changes to gas through the process vaporization that is either boiling or evaporation liquid turns to solid that process is called a freezing gas turns to liquid that process is called a condensation solid turns to gas without passing liquid state sublimation gas turns to solid that process is called a deposition we will discuss one by one first one melting Melting is the process in which solid changes into liquid state. Here, the particles needs a certain amount of energy. Then they changes to solid to liquid state. This process is happening at a fixed or particular temperature. That specific temperature is called a melting point next one freezing freezing in which liquid changes into solid this is a reverse of melting it occurs exactly the same temperature as melting during freezing process there is a decrease in temperature and they lose the particles lose certain amount of energy and they convert it to solid state liquid turns to solid state next one boiling liquid changes to gas here they require a certain amount of heat then this liquid particles they are trying to escape from the surface this boiling takes place at a specific temperature that temperature is known as boiling point evaporation 
same process liquid changes to gas but in the case of evaporation that process takes place over a range of temperature evaporations normally happened at the surface of the liquids difference between boiling and evaporation boiling happens at a fixed temperature that temperature is called a boiling point evaporation occurs at any temperature that means there is a wide range of temperature boiling occurs throughout the liquid evaporation takes place at the surface boiling is a faster process evaporation is a slow process condensation condensation in which a gas changes into liquid on cooling when gas is cooled its particles lose energy and when they bump into each other they lack the energy to bounce away again then this gas converted into liquid state now you can see heating curve what do you mean by a heating curve a heating curve is a graph that showing the temperature you can see here in the y axis temperature of a substance plotted against the amount of energy it has absorbed solid turns to liquid you can see there is a phase that phase is called a melting after that this liquid converted to gas in between there is a phase that phase is called a boiling this boiling takes place at a fixed temperature that temperature is called a boiling point the melting takes place at a fixed temperature that temperature is called a melting point here in heating curve solid turns to liquid liquid turns to gas but in the case of cooling curve it's a reverse process gas turns to liquid liquid turns to solid look at this cooling curve on cooling the particles of gas move slower and slower and then the gas molecules start to contract then they closer together and it converted to a liquid state then this liquid changes to solid state that is cooling curve now diffusion what do you mean by diffusion diffusion is the net movement of particles from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration as a result of their random movement until equilibrium is reached that means the intermixing of gaseous particles simply you can say because of this diffusion if you are using a bottle of perfume the smell will be spread and when you are preparing a hot sizzling food that smell spread from one area to another these all processes based on this diffusion the rate of diffusion is most rapid in gases because the particles are loosely packed then liquids and at last solids effect of relative molecular mass in diffusion the rate at which the gases diffuse differs and depends on the gases molecular mass at the same temperature molecules with the lower mass they move faster compared with the higher mass molecules with the lower mass is spread through compared with the a molecule with the higher mass now we move on to what will happen if pressure and temperature on gas we are familiar that means gases are compressible by changing the pressure acting on them their volume may be influenced an increase in external pressure produces a contraction or decrease in volume that means if you increase the pressure the volume will be reduced because of that the gas is compressed 
a fall in external pressure produces an expansion or increase in volume then the gas is said to be compressed then the gas is said to be compressed then what about volume the volume of gas may also be influenced by temperature for example when you increase the temperature the gaseous molecules attain more kinetic energy that means gradually their kinetic energy increased because of the high kinetic energy the particles move and hit on the walls of the container and this increases an internal pressure in that way their volume increases when the temperature decreases the gas molecules decreases the kinetic energy because of that they decrease the internal pressure and their volume decreases diffusion means the intermixing of particles that means the net movement of particles from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration as a result of their random movement until the equilibrium is reached the relative molecular mass pressure and temperature three of them will affect the diffusion